Ikare. Detective, hey! Are you okay? I don't know. Did you just faint again? You should tell me. Come on. Do you need some rest? Let's get to work. I'm glad you're feeling better. What have we got? It's a classic hit and run, but no ID. I'm so excited to be back on field again. Somebody just died here. Show some respect. Okay. All right, Susan, check with the missing persons list. All right, I'm on it. You stopped here after the hit. That. A side mirror. And we can be sure it's from the hit and run. It's got blood on it. Oh. Maybe it's from a deer or something? Anyway, I'll send it to the lab. Thanks, Susan. No worries. But how did you find it? I guess I was lucky. I think we're done here. I never understand how you could drive like that. Like what? Like a grandma hugging that steering wheel. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> we have a new case. Susan, what? Did I just wake you? Uh, yeah. What? Maybe? I don't... What? Well, uh, we have the traffic cam footage at the precinct. Can you come in? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there right... I'll be over there in a second. Hey, is 
scared me. Um, let's just leave this mess here and check the footage at your desk. This is the time we're on the hit and run. She looks scared. Running away from something. It could be a homicide then. Let's not rush to any conclusions. Alright, let's see the car. There should be not much after that. This is the car. Most probably. Please run the license plate number. Let's visit Diane's place. Here we are. That's probably Diane's car. She's clean. All right. Who are you? What are you doing in here? I, I was... I was just checking on Diane. She didn't return my calls and I was... I was worried. And you are? Kate. A friend. We you know each other from Nanny. All right. Come on, sit down. Big fan. 
Your wife was also quite fond of the mayor, right? Leave her out of this. <laughs> Did you both vote for him after all? Susan, focus on the case, will you? Why were you worried? She got involved in something and acted very strange for like the last two weeks. After she met with the mayor? You mean after they met for the last time? She was crazy about him. They had some weird romance. I told her to stop it. That guy is a douchebag. What do you mean? They just didn't fit together. How did you get in here? The door was open when I got here and Diane's key was in the door. Why? What happened? Where's Diane? First answer the questions. You said that she was acting strange. What did you mean by that? First she was depressed, then she became paranoid. She thought she was followed by some shady people, uh, her phone was bugged, weird things like that, but that's all I know. Tell me what's going on. Why are you here? Is Diane okay? I'm sorry to break it to you, but Diane was involved in a car accident, a hit and run. She died last night. No way. What? Did this can't be for real? Are you sure it was her? Diane? Yes. I'm sorry. No. 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 Yes? Uh-huh. Great. Okay. Gotcha. They identified the car based on the traffic cam. It was reported stolen. Of course. We need you to come with us to the precinct to fire your statement. Honey. Fuck you. Hey, Susan, did you see the email that I just forwarded you? Wait, let me check. Huh, I got it. Wait, I know her, and that's a suspect card too. Yeah, uh, who is it? It's Lucy Lowell. We have been dealing with her. She's a prostitute known as Long Legged Lucy. <sighs> Do you know where we can find her? Yeah, uh, we have her address somewhere. I will send it to you and see you there. Alright, see you. Stay calm and keep hearing so I can see them. We're here to execute a search warrant. We're looking for Lucy Lavelle. Hey, miss.
dead. Who is she? Lucy? Probably. It's too bad. Wounds around the neck. Evidence of struggle. <laughs> this fucking cat! You all good? Yeah, I just hate this cat. I mean, all cats. I hate all cats. Great. Looks like our only lead is dead. Yeah, but at least we got a homicide. Sounds like it's coming from in here. Call back up. Shit. What? The camera. Is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, and more. You know Stephen MacArthur? The mayor? Mm -hmm. Father of three, husband of a heavy wife? <laughs> yeah, well he looks pretty happy too. Oh yeah, very much so. Oh, I guess they blackmailed the mayor who paid them off. 
But then Lucy and the Fim disagreed on sharing the money. Probably. But something's off. Still not enough motivation to kill your bread and butter. Everybody has their price. Maybe so. Grab the pimp. Alright. We have our bag in the interrogation room and we also found a big transfer to his account. He goes by the name Jimmy the Pimp. Alright, well let's see what he has to say. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I need a lawyer. Who killed Lucy then? I have nothing to do with that. I loved her. Love? You simply used her. No, ma'am, you know nothing. Anyway, I was... I was knocked out, man. Somebody else killed her. Who did you contact? I don't know. Lucy was in touch with a few guys from here and there. But I, I don't know really. I think I can have more. Please, yes. <laughs> Come on, shut up. Did you contact the mayor? No. Not me. Listen to it. But, but, but there was someone else. She felt threatened. I'm very shit. <clears throat> A doctor? Are you kidding me? You won't get a doctor here. I need my stuff, man. I, I need my pills. Your pills? You won't get any pills in here, you fucking junkie. Are you kidding Susan, me? Relax. What? He's going through a draw. <laughs> Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. Yes, you are. Junkies like this destroy your life. Mine. Yes. You of all people must know that. I need to talk. Shut up! Listen. Listen to that. Come on. Think about your wife. Just think about what would you want. Just junkies like this destroy your life. You know that. Just think about that. Like the way she died. Okay, you need to get up. You have to go home and, and get some rest. I'll take care of everything. We just tell them that it was self-defense and and you, you need to get up. Come on, I, I will I will get you home.
Hey, detective. Susan? Well, I'm very disappointed, but you know we have to take you in. But please, don't struggle. Give me your firearm. Now. Take it easy. Well, you worked really hard for this, and I almost fell for it. What do you mean? The seat was too far forward when I got in. It's impossible long-legged Lucy could drive like this. Impossible for anybody, actually. Well, except maybe you, Grandma. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, to see, of course. But still, you don't have any hard evidence. I found your wire clippers in the trunk. <laughs> Can you prove it? Of course not. Just give up. Sure, of course, Susan. And you killed that pimp. Oh, please. And you call yourself a detective? Idiot. You can't prove any of this. Oh, and the last one. Those tiny little details one should never forget. The scratches on your arm. They're from Lucy's cat. They weren't there from the beginning. That cat never did like you. This fucking cat. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You're sick, my friend. Never managed to get over your wife. Leave my wife out of this. <sighs> Don't tell me that again. You're losing it right now. Every single time I bring that fucking dead bitch up. You just, you just can't handle it. You faint, you fall on the ground, and you don't remember anything. Susan, stop it. Stop it. You know it's coming, the next blackout. You remember your wife, detective? Lying on the bed, covered with blood, anything? Hello? can't be. She's alive. Oh, She's you know it. it. You know it. But you're fucking weak to admit it. She is dead, my friend. Face, face it! Face, 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 face. You fucking bitch. Detective! Hey! <laughs> you see, guys? Come on, start the engine. Start the engine. Not so fast. Nice.